whereas we have reviewed robocop a lot we've reviewed yes robocop it's been yeah all the way back way back when and all the way through to the it was pretty nice Blu-ray sets across the years, including yeah, yeah, the last yeah, they because the first few mm. first few um, pictures weren't great, were they? And then they remastered it, and it looked gorgeous. Mm. Um, so it'd be interesting to see. Well, I what have the new one is. seen. Uh, it's very nice. The end. Oh. Right, let's talk TV. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in favour. Move on, move on. It's We're great. running out of time. It's <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> You know what? It's uh, very organic. So that translates to... Rainy as hell. Rainy. doesn't look like you Terminator 2. So people are going to enjoy the grain or they're going to cry about a classic movie from the late 80s which didn't have a huge budget and which was shot on real film. It looks like mm. that. And there's some scenes which Good. aren't great. There are some opticals that don't look fantastic. Oh, yeah. Ed, Ed 2 and 9 he, always looked a bit dodge. He does. Oh, in yeah. fact, he doesn't look too bad, but the humans around him in the shot don't always look great. But yeah, there are don't. other shots, close-ups on the faces that look fantastic, like proper cleaned up, uh, sharp, and... Still, you can see it was shot on film with a nice layer of grain and it hasn't been scrubbed to infinity. It's a very, very yeah, nice, cool. nice looking Robocop. It froze twice. My heart, <gasps> yeah, popped the disc out, cleaned the hell out of it, checked it again a couple of times, plays beautifully. So, Kaz, if I have that previous Arrow edition, is this worth the upgrade? Yes. Yes, Ooh. it really is. It really did wow me and they nice. go to town on the dolby vision it's it's a nice uh added layer because it is a future set film so i didn't mind that the the neons are bright that the the nightclub scene is full-on color i mean it's it, it, they make use of it and i think it i think it looks fantastic i would T turning back to um, Simon talking about the audio on American Werewolf in London, I don't think they've, they've done Atmos, and I don't think mm. that it's ever going to be regarded as like demo Atmos. But I mean, it was originally, I think, four channel. So uh, is this Atmos on the Arrow disc? Is this their first? Is this their first Atmos track? There's Atmos on the 4K. Oh. I'm going to cry now. Someone else is going to slap me when I get this wrong, but <laughs> it's Atmos on the 4K disc. And, ah. uh, but it's not going to be a demo track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, um, but I, I, res I kind of sat back and I thought, but it does sound like a, a faithful Robocop. It just sounds the way it was supposed to sound. It, it doesn't sound the way people complained about the messed up audio on Mad Max 2 originally mm. or what, you know, it doesn't sound like yeah, someone yeah. has done something crazy with it. It's not got but, new Foley effects or anything rubbish like that. No, it's, it's pretty cool. there. I mean, it's, it's crazy. The things you remember, they must be planted in your mind. Like when he opens a door into the boardroom and for some reason, the door makes a ridiculous futuristic sound. Like, <laughs> It couldn't possibly make that sound. It's a door opening, but it sounds like someone's, it just sounds like John Carpenter's in the background with his keyboard and has given the nice. door a sound. And, <gasps> you know, so, yes. I want yes. John Carpenter to do my door sound. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get that? Yeah. Make that happen. <laughs> I think it's lovely. <laughs> it's a packed release. I mean, I think it's got, you know, it's arrows. So they haven't, I can't, I haven't gone through all the extras. And you just popped it in to make sure it looked mm. gorgeous. But I can't see much new from their stonking Blu-ray set. Mm. But there's a lot there. There's both yeah. cuts. The directors and theatrical. There's the TV cut, because we all want to watch that. There's all yeah. the additional scenes from the TV cut. There's deleted scenes. There's, like, commentaries on both of the cuts. There's a bunch of interviews. Uh, there's 
there's a lot of material on there. It's a very, very nice set. I haven't seen the set because they just send me the disc. So if I were to show it, it would look like I could just grab a disc here. It would look like <laughs> okay. any of the other discs around. Um, but the sets, which yeah. is being shown, I think is the, it's a fantastic looking set. Lots of groovy. Art. I'm going to wait until two and three come out in 4K as well. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I would wait two. for three. I love I would... two, actually. I think two is a fantastic two. Two's great. I got three time. is rubbish. They're both great. Three no, is... three is rubbish. Two is three. three. Two is the Road Warrior, I would say. Ooh. I, I, it is, it is that good. Controversial. Wow. No. I have a lot of two time is for fantastic. Two. Three I is don't... total two. <laughs> and, and amazingly, three is um the uh, Thunderdome. <laughs> 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 I, I have a, I have a surprising <laughs> amount of time for two. I like the like the upgraded bad guy. Uh, yep. I like the angle with the with the new drug that's on the streets. I think all of that's yep. really well played. Still I, want to slap the kid though. I, yeah, I mm, gets it. <laughs> not, sure, not sure about some of the comedy in it. I don't know whether it always worked. I quite like the rioting, and I quite like the. I quite like the um, like the ambush, and you know everything well, do, so, spins yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good film. It's I, I honestly, it's a brilliant film. It's a fantastic scene. But it was they dropped kind the ball of number a, three. I mean, it was kind of an uh, abomination re whatever of the original planned sequel, which came out as a comic. I think Frank Miller's. Robocop. I think that's what they were going to shoot for originally because they missed a lot of that. That was that had the same Kane and the same villain and a lot of similar themes, but it was a lot darker. Um, and I wonder whether they started the ball rolling with some of the comedy that we see utterly ruin Jetpack Robo in three, um, fighting <laughs> samurais with a flame yeah. rocket appendage. That magically fits on his cut off arm. Yeah. No, it's like Beverly Hills <laughs> Cut Three. It's like, oh, oh no. Nothing no. is that bad. No, it's pretty bad. It, you can see it's the natural bad. transition from three to a TV series where he doesn't swear or kill people. Yep. It, yep. Without and they, uh, three. They to make it all yeah. kid friendly and sell toys, didn't they? That's yeah. why. So that's mm. why I give him a jetpack. He's going to fly around. He doesn't weigh a thing doesn't weigh a thing he's aerodynamic <laughs> and you can definitely take take him it's like thunderbird 2 all over again it looks really good at flying and i guarantee you when arrow released robocop 3 on a spiffy 4k special edition at 45 quid we'll all, love it. <laughs> yeah, be we'll all be buying yeah, it yeah. Yeah, take I my will. money yes come on <laughs> put it in the set with the others and charge 100 quid i'm there sounds good <laughs> 